day everyone today our topic is about urban transportation problems the last time we have discussed about the components of transportation system in which we try to determine the four essential components of transportation system in that you will be able to know or identify which or how are we going to to consider uh, consider at oh, we should try to consider the, the important elements in designing transportation system so today we will be able to discuss or I will be going to discuss about the urban transportation problems uh, my discussion is as per uh, the author Dr. Jean Paul Rodriguez so it's all credit to him because uh, this topic is very, uh, very common to not only so in the place uh, where uh, he is uh, doing his research but also in the Philippines also so our first slide is about the urban transportation at the crossroads so cities are locations having a high level of accumulation and concentration of economic activities so urban transportation is dealing with a big responsibility when it comes to transportation urban transportation is considered to be a highlight no? a highlight of one city because it consider the movement of people the movement of goods and the movement of uh, the economy itself right because as per uh, as per the our economists the more traffic the more we get lost our economy okay so they are complex spatial structures supported by infrastructures including transport systems the larger a city the greater its complexity and potential for disruptions particularly when this complexity is not effectively managed yes of course uh, it is agreeable that when you are in the city it is complex a big space to consider how you will be able to include the good transportation system no we have discussed this one the elements the nodes the network the mode and the links no how you are going to consider all those components considering that you are living in the city no? lucky for those people who are living in rural areas but still the opportunities are here in the city okay so it, it is stated here that the larger a city the greater its complexity and potential of for disruptions meaning complexity is the more uh, the more difficult to the more difficult to consider all the possible things or the, or the possible problems that may arise 
during the implementations, during the the, the operations, considering the movement of people. Uh, if for example, I will be giving you an example. You know, we have designed a good transportation system, but we did not consider the movement of the people, you know, the movement of such uh, vehicles temporarily. You no, know, how you are going to try divert the the movement or the flow, the traffic. Today, we have three lanes. And the next time, there is a maintenance, there is a changes of designs, and there is an upgrade of designs. So in, there are, first of course, we are going to, to, to replace, no? To replace in order for us to, to follow this, the designs. Now, consider the first lane, second lane, third lane. So, delete na pwede, it's not good also that you are going to remove all. And how you will be able to, you know, to give access to the people or to access to goods. Of course, it should never stop. It should never stop. It should have a movement. Okay, so that is one only example now I am giving you that. There is a complexity. Consider things, even the smallest things nga available, not available, but smallest things na can cause problem or disruptions in that particular city. It is said also here is not effectively managed. Uh, of course, uh, management is all about people, but. Uh, with regards to that, it's a personal thing. Of course, uh, maybe at some point, not effectively managed because of it, its bigger scope. No? Bigger scope. Consider this one, consider this one, consider this one, consider this one. There are many, uh, many problems. There are many considerations. The people, the vehicles, the impact to the economy. The movement of goods, so nana ang mga problem. On our next slide, here, urban productivity is highly dependent on the efficiency of its transport system to move labor, consumers, and freight between multiple origins and destinations. Yes, of course. Uh, I think uh, uh, before, no, no, we will consider this uh, freight, no, this uh, airports. Because he, in this slide, you see that additionally, transport terminals such as ports, airports, rail yards are located within urban areas. It helps anchor a city within a regional and global mobility system. So by that, no, we are talking about the productivity. Productive, productivity meaning how you are going or how the city will grow. No? How the city will have this income, will have this much. No? So the, the, the word highly dependent is very big word can give the city more income no? it is the basic basic need no? sa, uh, sa city first labor how people no? how people will work so um, people will work through our oh, no? of course kung nakakay, uh, no? or if you are working uh, for example, public, in public. So some of us have own vehicles, okay? But 90% or 80%, no, I don't have the statistics, but 80%, no, are, no, are depending on the public transportation. First, we have the jeepney. 
the taxi, the vans, or the UV Express. Uh, there's also Sikat, no? Sa to na only in the Philippines, Sikat. Motorella, no? Badja, no? I am one of the commuters sa Badja. What else? Habal Habal. Uh, bus, jeep. Mga ba ang taxi? Um, I think mulang na ang mga basic. Yeah, modes of transportation. When it comes to labor, no? Of course, of naapod kay, you know, if you have your own vehicle, it is convenient, no? Convenient, but we are not, kana bitong, we are not exempted, no? We are not exempted to the traffic system. We are part also, why? The more that the vehicles are, no? Are traveling or using the transportation system, the more it could give more traffic say ato ang vicinity or sa ato ang area of concern no for example each of us nati vehicles so how would you be able you know how you will be able to have a good flow kana bitong everyone is uh, everyone can go at the same time no no meaning every time can can access to a particular uh, uh, highway freely now we're in fact tanan na na ay no? vehicle so of course uh, it's that is impossible no okay uh, we will base our you no know, our uh, economic status or our status on our incomes man po so siguro sana all kan kwarta kay kabay no or sana all makabalo utang ay mo na so makapalit ka og sakyanan no dili man pud tanan uh, asa kong a case pa uh, pangkalang pag istorya ang a case I, I cannot have or i can kanad ang i can't have one no if wala ko utang no but it's a personal experience i have to to do this because i need i need some comfortable life no I need to have this one because I need to to do my job conveniently, comfortably, uh, com com comfortably. No, it is one way of doing uh, of having this one is uncomfortableness. So saka commuter, so napata sa labor consumers. So narara sa likuan, narara sa layer similarity, no. And next is we have this fright, no? And fright is what they call a kind of a system wherein you need a, a terminals, no? Or terminal rather, na you will be able to to get or to see if other, no? If other people is coming to the city, for example, if people is coming from Manila, coming from Cebu, coming from Davao, so if this freight system is not connected to the urban area, so it really gives us a lesser value. No, before I think when the oro is. Is one of the best ko ansa considering sa iya ang available nga nga transportation sa una kay napaman diri ang sa man napadiri ang airport sa to ang lumbia so karon wala naman so pero but still natay seaports no natay seaports uh, still na uh, it is working ang rail yards um i think it's not applicable here but i think in manila na ni siya rail, rail yards so ni 
Tingnan mo sa na itong normal na ito po. Kaya ka bibigay na. Okay, so, ito po ang tingnan. So, it helps to anchor a city within a regional and global mobility. So, not only in national level, in regional level, but also global. At traffic sa air freight. So, na-possible na siya. So, labi na kong capital city ka. So, for example, Manila. So, kita, we always hear traffic congestion sa sa airport. No? Dili lang sa traffic congestion sa land surface, but also sa sa air. No? Sa dagat na dito, traffic ya ko na. No? So, dili lang takabalo sa kanabitang movement. No? I don't know if sa civil pa ba ng movement of transportation so I, I don't think sa civil pa kanabitang movement sa seaports so naa siguri uh, sa DOTR mula no of course Department of Transportation pero or no civil na siya movement movement na civil pero naa siguri siya yung mga related field for example sa dagat so navigation so naa yung mga kuha na yung mga uh, other related fields nga nag specialize ano okay for our next slide it is the urban transportation at the crossroads so since we are talking about problems what are those common problems that we experience huh? even me you your uncle, your auntie, no? Auntie, aunt, like Englishman. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, your, your, your siblings, siblings, kita kan? And also your, your teachers, no? Even professionals can, oh, uh, will, uh, can experience the same experience, no? So first, we have to deal with traffic congestion and parking difficulties we will discuss about this one so in this particular slide there is five no actually 10 but we will discuss only five okay traffic congestion and parking difficulties in this discussion you have to go to the next slide please traffic congestion and parking difficulties so the word traffic, the word congestion. Traffic me meaning movement, no? movement of vehicles or movement of people. No congestion. Congest meaning uh, shrink, something like crowded. You cannot move. No? Here, we have definition here, is one of the most prevalent transport challenges in large urban agglomerations okay it is a common problem congestion so traffic especially when we are in urban area okay most probably here it is discussed here that since vehicles spend the majority of the time part motorization has expanded no? the demand of parking space which has created footprints pro footprint problems particularly in central areas where the footprint of park vehicles is significant yeah, this is true no? congestion meaning what causes or what are the causes why traffic is congested okay i will give you an example here and the example is ang parking space that is so true no considering we will not go to manila we will go to cagayan de oro if kinsay ka taga cagayan de oro diri you can relate to it no Example, I, I, I will not mention any place okay, for 
for confidentiality and of course uh, it is a law and I will not mention any place or any not any place but any particular space or traffic areas nga atong consider but this is in general term para wala tayo ma, ma, makita nga problema later on example ana is kanang mag park so sa ka barangay no sometimes we will not consider nga ah wala man kaayo no the term in in our dialect no wala man kaayo mo agi diri karang rubi taw ni park lang sa kuani ka di rubi taw ni no kana bitaw word nga pwede ra karang rubi taw sabto na lang ko na most of the time okay but if two consecutive time i think it will not be okay it will be one of the cause of traffic so example the area is designed for two lanes now two lanes meaning going forward i know example going to ilikan and going to kagayan de oro now for example line of part to going to kagayan de oro of course the vehicle will be going in the other lane. No, may lag okay, no? Pero, dili lang tamato sa urban. Then, as a rural. Okay, pero kasi sometimes yung one rural. It, it also happens to rural, no? And I'm talking, when you consider one part or one lane is considered, for uh, example, for repair or for there are because na, na traffic dia or na apa kay kuan so it's another way uh, it's another part na it causes traffic but okay matuto dito matuto lang so for example okay agora na lang no dito na sa agora na ay nag park dia no na ay nag park going to agora then of course kan pagawas dito sa agora going to pure cold Usa na kaling na now the people who are going to Agora, for example, from Bukidnon, mostly taga Bukidnon na na. If they are not using the the diversion and still nag-use sila ang mga nasa highway nga kaling daga na to ang normal nga na nag-park diha temporary, for example, goods ka na nag-park diha o kaser, 5 bisan mga 30 minutes lang, so dali lang kami Mag transfer lang ang mikos na ay congestion na naitabo even minutes even hours no? nasamot na o days so you know what I mean even the smallest time nga imong gi imong gi gibutang diha ang imong sakyanan in sigida it can cause traffic that is why kinahala na to ang mga officers Ilan na to ang RTA, no? Sa to ang, yung, uh, to ang localities, we need RTA para mo implement sa traffic rules. Nga, no parking. Okay? So, ina na, no parking. So, was, I think one of the observation also, kanibitang, so, I think, uh, it is evident also to us, no? Labi na sa tong social media, no? The right of people to to park. Niya, matingala lang ka nga. Gibira na niya ang sakyanan sa RTA or even the, you know, the people nga assigned to it. So, so sama nila, MMDA, dito sa to RTA. Ano daw, why these people doing their job? Or why they are doing that way? No? So, karun, you are in, an engineer and also a commuter at the same time first you will not think why people are so rude no oh gonna be so ready na mo. why people or why th these people are so rude to people where in fact they are also human beings because just simply said, no, what we have discussed earlier, 
it gives a high value even it comes to economy nakaron utianto if this economy will lose transportation also lose everything else it will lose so mo sometimes consider no consider the movement consider the movement consider everything consider the job respect them obey the rules traffic no i am a commuter i do have a license license to drive i do have also no not i do have but i i am also a commuter sa public utilities vans jeepney sometimes but if we did not know what they are working for then we will not understand the things behind them no? the reason why they are doing their job now i am talking or referring to people who are work honestly so uh, i don't i i am not referring to people who are not working their job properly no to these honest people so i don't care about them it's their choices but uh, what i am trying to explain here is they're doing their job respect and try to consider no? try to consider their job now if for example ikaw ang nasa if the, you are not if you are in the position then you will know how hard for them no how hard for them to 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 give us this sanction penalties no, sir no i have observed katong mga latest nga kwan nga driver nga ikwan siya 1000 kay no parking or ano ni wa na siya income kay especially covid current covid 19 pero i don't know is it we i we do you do we need compassion all the time or we need compassion at one time only mm -hmm. i don't know okay but sa ang kita mo na to is law excuses no one so diri siguro mabuta ang compassion that to okay mura siya og if you will try to put things no, beyond compassion no, kum, na, kinahalan dito mo forgive kinahalan dito mo sabot kinahalan dito mo give a warning na always na lang na siya buhat on. warning sige lang no, yung kaya ka. the people of course ano itong dili the, uh, we, we cannot easily understood mga good why they are doing this one so now we are civil we are civil engineers in the making you also are professional a year a year or a month after no you will become an engineer then it this, this is the way you try to understand the things why they are doing their job okay so i am particular lang class because uh people are making effort in order for us to be okay so sometimes no the government no, it is my it is my take not this this is my opinion and it it doesn't reflect no, it doesn't reflect the university or the school that i am in too no i am working with no, my thing my take for this is that if the government is employing no is giving us the 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 policy or the law now you have to do this of course do not react directly analyze understand then react react when it is needed right Pwede pwede nga react lang always. Okay? So, you, you will try to have this one. 
uh, consider these things okay it is really hard also for the government to always consider no, to always what I mean is really you know, the, the customers are always right but to always consider the compassion now I am talking about compassion not the rights of course rights is different from compassion we have to deal with that okay so okay next so for our next slide is about longer commuting so this is another problem longer meaning taas no longer commuting time no we are referring to time commuting meaning moving no we are moving uh, in a long period of time no so for example uh, here at the same on par with congestion people are spending an increasing amount of time commuting between their residence and workplace so commuters are exchanging commuting time for housing affordability however long commuting is linked with several social problems such as isolation less time spent with family or friends as well as poorer health obesity array no sakit ka sakit okay i have to discuss this one so because class this is a research so it it was studied no it was studied nga the people the people is or the, the person who is trying to to work no who is trying to work there are times no um dili siya gitu you or it is not intentionally nga done by a, a, a particular person but kay kanu bitaw nitaw na to if i am going to kugon so for example so i am giving you an example kanang reality I am going to Kogon, for example. If I am going, I uh, if I am start, uh, if I start to travel from our university, then which part, no, uh, which which consideration you will decide, no, you will decide where I am going to start. Uh, no, where I'm going to start my travel or my commuting if we consider time no? I will make this travel short no? I will not make this travel longer like sometimes people are choosing this type of commuting because they like to or in fact, it can cause, no, it can cause to congestion, it can cause to problems with traffic, so urban. So from the university, which, no, which route you are going to go? Is going to get kind to Kogon, no, which is very is easy. It will take maybe five to ten minutes, or from highway, going to a city or a mall, not city, a mall then going to another streets going to another area where is there are close establishments present going to another school then after that uh, going to Kugun. so it will times five no times three or times even times 100 no this longer commuting can cause problem so that is why cutting longer commuting is exceptional lang siya if you do not know ang no ang imo ang ang imo ang route no if you do not know your route or if you do not know which vehicle you are going to 
go, no? Okay, sometimes, okay, it excuses everyone. If you are going, for, if you are riding a taxi, okay, fine. But if you are riding a, a jeep in particular, so it will take time. Or if you are riding your own vehicle, and you choose not to ride or not to go with the shortest way. Instead, you are choosing the longest one, no? the longer way. So, no? decide, study, study the, the area before going so that it cannot, it cannot add up to the congestion. Okay, here, natin itawag na uh, affordability of the so man, housing affordability meaning if for example if for example kanang, this is so practical actually this I like this I choose this one because it's so practical when you are in the city you know, as what I have give give you an example earlier you know, labor if you are in the city the opportunity is here now if you are going to go home, for example, Bukit, no? you will commute, no? You will go for commute. That will be. You are going to Bukit, no? but the, the, the house there is okay, no? No problem, fully. You can have your time, but you are using the traffic. You are using the roads or the highways every time morning afternoon lunch what is what is night time no any time of the day you're using because you do not have your own home it's a city now that is why no the the people now if you're working in the city so for example ako, i have to rent a house but of course it's quite expensive so it boils down to how which which I am going to to consider, no, affordability. So that is why some no evident also here sa to ang city, ang ang mga high rise buildings, mga condominiums that are being constructed, no, instead of going home always, no, go to condominiums, buy condominiums. Pay for parks, have time for sleeping, no? anytime you want. At least you will not be able to cause something else sa traffic. So that is one way. Here, na diri ang gikuan nga kaning social problems, social problems. Kaning it's about isolation, meaning uh, you, you you love to travel or you don't like. To go home, but you do not have home here, no. For example, you not you don't like to go home, and you, all you want to know, uh, all you want to do is you just try to go travel, and no, some, somewhere something like you go anywhere in the city just because uh, you don't like to go home earlier. Nagan mga So this uh, another psycho problem. This is about consequence, kanang. Uh, south kanang marasya kuan sa kagulingon no? uh, it's another way but naagya po nasa ikuan no? naasa ikuan sa naagya po sa problem sa health obesity I think class I think I have observed this one and I am also aware of this when I try to have this vehicle niya you always driving you don't like to move no you always in the car you need to rest you like sitting you only to like to drive you are not like you, you you do not like to go outside because it's hot at the same time no this vehicle also teaches us to become more lazy sometimes in my own opinion huh? hey, when i have vehicles i don't like to go outside you know what i mean I don't like to, to work or to kind of to work meaning kind of to, to, to walk instead me. I don't like to walk. I don't have any movement on my own personality. Because 
para ka kasi so poor ang result ito yan sa health no of course na mantay kita na you go to the next slide uh, the 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 pros and the cons no the pros and cons no if for example traffic board uh to man ang, ang word siguro na term ang term siguro na board is normal when you are commuting so we will do the we will do the experiments for example listening to music watching uh don't fall well on the car on top of mind uh watching vlogs ni pinoy architect uh, Oliver Austria or ni civil engineer Slater Young no? this anamurag malingaw ka kay because they are giving insights to or opinions to the no? the to the existing or to the built houses of celebrities their 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 comments are uh, their comments matters na na sa tungkol so okay it's okay uh, there are social activities that you are doing no uh, maybe uh sa pag imbad sa social activities na na lang siguro mostly through uh, cameras or through a uh, TV or built-in stereos you know or listening to FM stations uh, radio stations so, sa pamay, mga social activities. Pero natin itawag nga cell phones, technologies, no? Information technologies, no? Commuters to perform variety of tasks while traveling. This is so true, class. I, I, as in, I don't know, delete ang siguro ni sa, sa mga drivers, no? But also to the commuters. No? Example, uh, can commuters kay for example kita commuters sa tanan no i experience so mag cell phone while, tra while traffic example ani kana bitaw nan aw og tikto mag 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 maglantaw og sa tuman maglantaw og mga videos what is what eh given your example or mga nilalaw pa baka kag NBA eh uh, ongoing ang NBA ng uh, Basketball. So, dagan to pwede mo po at pwede li pwede mag-tiktok ha? Kaya lahi po lang mag-tiktok. Kaya kanong ta at some, um, like, some experiments sa uban ka nung uso tong Hey, 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 mwane. Wala na to ba? Pwede li to pwede. Bawal to siya kay unsafe to siya. So, akong gitawag ani nga slide is good nga nahita po because it can give us Kana bitang so better man ang kanang kanang for the main time ba kanang uh, is easy nga ko an ba ang feeling nga uh, to avoid be, being bored so na yung mga uh, social media nga available sa internet so now people will invest you no know? invest computers invest to the stereos invest to the to the built-in TVs or videos nga na addressin mo ang sakinan. And of course, I think some of us also is kanang naagid ako nga van, naagid ako nga TV diyan na mag-antok. And of course, it will give an economic growth also sa other nga expense. No, in, 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 for example, kanang mga cell phones. Of course, people will buy cell phones so the con, the con, con, increase in lang sales. So it will give. Oh, so gida ko ang saman, ang ila ang sales. So it will help also the economy. Pero mo lagi na uh, traffic lang. <laughs> okay. Next nata. Pero I think uh, beware lang sa mga drivers sa kay. Uh, bawal jud mag mag cell phone while driving it's can cause accidents actually i like to 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 post some pictures here but uh i i refrain from doing it because it might be a problem later on sa ko ang mga slides i am using a 
picture without a koan kaya basi na copyright ba so anyway I am doing this one for lecture purposes naman there's no any koan intention of doing the 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 or using the pictures but here in participation ah in this online class I am do I am using a certain uh, article para to share it with you uh, sharing of knowledge and to understand things is better than to think of a copyright something no as long as delete lang siya for business use so it's okay Okay, let's go to another slide, please. Uh, public transport inadequacy. Many, many public trans transit systems or parts of them are either over or underused. Since the demand for public transit is subject to periods of peaks and troughs, during peak hours, crowdedness creates discomfort for users as the system copes with a temporary surge in demand. So meaning, what public transport inadequacy. Meaning, um, um, transportation on group class are being, um, being created or being shaped or being uh, provided by uh, by our government free. No? Free siya in a way nga people will not own no? dili, dili private person ang naka-own sa dalan kung dili, all of us to yes sa dalan munang uban yung siya, oh grabe mga paragam mo to yes sa dalan, lahi po na <laughs> lahi na siya nga meaning uh, colloquial na siya nga, nga pagka-define what I mean is, here is that ano ba itong uh, na yung public transport yung nag-i-endorse or gi-propose but over over ang pagka-design over ang pagka-create yun na po i-underuse no? so kung maga let's try to be considerate also how to consider or how to put a certain transportation system, no? Kamo sa siya demand, kamo sa siya need sa tao na during peak hours. So peak hours, for example, here sa Grande Oro, seven o'clock, eight, nine. Karan tulog yun na ka oras is seven, eight. Unang mga peak hours na to dere. Even six o'clock ta fit ka lang sometimes. Tapi na o na ay klase. So pag udto 11, 12 to 1. Pag hapon, 5, 6, 7. So, traffic pa na. So, almost tag 3 hours. So, 9 hours a day na eh. Traffic congestion. So, meaning, people are, muna to, muna man niya ha. They are also asking, why is it that we are we are paying taxes and yet we do not feel any comfortableness sa sa the way it should be no because public public places should be comfortable public places should be given freely and it should be uh, it should be provided by the government with no with extra comfortableness nga feel sa tama sa user Dili, we are not designing here just because we need to design lang no we we are designing here for the comfort of everyone not for the sake of the budget. Do not, do not, do not design nga over parang for example, wala na sa demand ba? Wala na sa demand. Hurot ng kwarta pero grabe sa kaing kimo. So, na na. Okay? So, sometimes, no, people, kaya mong example dito, eh, people try to, 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 to have this thinkings no na sometimes why why on they will ask too many questions no 
why why this why I feel this way now na nigger mi lang nani ang ato ang modes of transportation okay so for our next slide is despite significant subside subsidies and cross financing example tools uh, almost every public transit system cannot generate sufficient income to cover its operating and capital costs. It is so true. Uh, I think in Manila, the uh, mga expressway that to, now which also govern or which also, no, which also used by the public. You know, sometimes the proposal, no, in any mga project class, sometimes the proposal of giving a a private, you no, know, private entity an opportunity to to create roads or you know to build roads build, to create roads this private entity have this much money and and they will be able they will have to you know, they will have to collect this amount later on nani ang nani ang agreement for example, okay, I will be doing this project uh, from this place to from starting A to to closing to the starting X or uh, closing X, no closing X. Okay, close na mga X. Okay, X X na uh, Okay, so A to X, no. Na ko i propose anang adala. So, but wala pa man may budget, so I will. I will make this capital nga ako yung budget ani. Hmm, kaya di man sad pwede nga. No, creating a project is so na, tanawin lang na to. Dili pwede. It has a capital cost. So, in order for a private entity nga uh, maka maka kagain sa sa koan, mag-ask na sila og tool sa mga gagamit ng mga public transportation. So I think uh, this agreement lang siguro wala ko example nga pa nang sa so, mitao ka na. Last week ay roa ka. Nga ka ah. Kan ba tong to? Wala ko example ako ba't example pa kan ba tong ang sa ila ang agreement no why uh, although kabalot ang na agreement between them nga na collect sila pero uh, I don't know what say agreement between the private entity with the public kay eh? free roman ka ang rights or free roman ka not ang rights but free mong ka ang paggamit sa dalan nga nung na amay tools so, ina na ang kwan ina na ang question nga uh, I, don't, I don't know how to give that solution or uh, answer but maybe later on kung na ako yung mahatag na example so yung next uh, difficulties for non-motorized transport so these difficulties are either the outcome of intense traffic where the mobility of, of pedestrians, bicycles, of other non-motorized vehicles is impaired but also because of the blatant lack of consideration for pedestrians and bicycles and the physical design of infrastructures and facilities. So meaning to say, uh, how, how this uh, this transportation being used by a public, no? by a pedestrian, no? by a bicycles. I think uh, one consideration here is uh, we are proposing something for for bicycle lanes. I don't know here in Kwenli Oro. I, I saw Science, no? science, na this uh, bicycle lane, pero I don't know if that works properly no? sa tong city. Okay, na comment ko na, but well, in general na, na, I don't see. But in Manila, na yung mga, na yung mga designs or mga proposals that to, I think nag naglatang ng sila o proposals for bike lanes. But I'm not sure. I just hope na it will it will come no later on kay. It will be a big help to be in the city that we can practice bang working or vehicles are pro, are, are you know, na mga, na mga rules vehicles, public transport 
so muna nga mas i-priority ang public transport compared to private owned transportation kung like sa gawas no sa gawas mo at sa Saudi is although luar mong gini lang place but uh, most of the time I think people are wala may jeep to Saudi so taxi so kung taxi kay muslim mo gada to kay sa kada ko sa ilang area spaces ni dili po sila overcrowded dili, dili populated ilang ilang area so meaning they can move no so muna nga the more populated area the more nga the result ang movement sa transportation okay na populated ka kasi sinta ko imong area but lucky ang lucky lang sa Philippines islands nang galita traffic pa gyud so ina na ka ka, ka kalisod no ang ato ang system diri so siguro lang uh, i'm not sure in uh, pila naman ka administration about bicycles i just hope no, for our uh, bicycle lovers no sa atong mga um, I, I, I like by, by uh, riding bicycles i have bicycle although i am not professional biker and biker or cyclist no but, but uh, i am an enthusiast so wow so sure enthusiast meaning i like the the ha, the 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 having a to to travel nga while while doing the uh, while pedaling no uh, traveling around the, the corner new new area para my exercise at the same time but I just hope that it will come up next time no uh, sometimes okay but sometimes not but for pedestrians I think uh, as long as provided lang side door uh, it's better no Sometimes some pedestrians are I am not I am not quantity ha ka nang uh, I am not giving an example na kanang bitang wala uh, gihimo I think gihimo eh, gid ang dalan and automatic na ay mga sidewalks for pedestrian and also pedestrian lanes are provided as long as it, it uh, as long as uh, it is necessary no you said pwedeng a pedestrian ta na alisod put Every one meter pedestrian. Murata anag mga robot. Okay, so design that one. In particular, so kung nahi mga pedestrian lane ng iba tang, respect po na to. No? As a driver, sometimes gadalita tanan, but mostly in the gun or bakay kuka kakita ng mga news about the uh, pedestrian. So just very careful. Okay. Siguro ano, uh, ako, ako siguro ang ano, ma elected official. Kaya ng pedestrian lane na ay stop o go. Okay, stop five minutes or three minutes, then go after both sides. Palabang lang sa tong mga kuan. No? Ana. Na stop ang mga Japan. Kay kapoy kayo ng kuan lui ang mga pedestrian nga mo agian. Para maoyo po ng tao nga. When to go, when, when not to go. Um, so, dapat ma maapil siya sa budget kuan. Okay, we are, we are going to the next slide, which is the uh, same slide as in the title, but next slide that uh, on the opposite side on setting bicycle paths takes capacity away from roadways as well as parking space. A negative outcome would be to allocate more space, correct me, Sean. So, more space for non-motorized transport than the actual mobility demand which would exa exacerbate congestion. Okay, nana mo na pros and cons. No more nga space ang needed kung mag-design pa magita o bicycle lanes or pedestrian nga mga pedestrians nga dalan para makumulit sa tanan no? kaning mga non-motorized transport. But sometimes no, uh, as long as siguro no, kanambit ang yeah, mostly most of the time mga people are mostly mostly mga they are the they are commuters so I think mga mga na magamay ang demand so kung just of course kana natong magamay ang dako ang dalan atong gito nga yung mo na to ang ang bicycle sa bicycle lane bus lane niya simply gamay na ang gamay na dalan na bili gamay na gida ang gamay yun pagit ni mo so much ka congested so naasa yapo yung negative impact later on 
Okay, let's go for our next slide, which is a loss of public space. Okay, the most roads are publicly owned, correct? Most roads they are. So meaning they are not the ideally one. Pero siguro ano? Siguro kana mga private entities lagi ka na ang gitngan mo. And free of access, increased. Siguro you can have this access, but see to it that kana bitang kuan kana see to it that you are going to pay. Ah, siguro kani. Ang example siguro ni kana mga tools bitang example na ay mga mga dalan or expressways nga dali ra ka makaabot sa mo ang places pero na ay dalan nga intended that uh, that uh, that particular lane nga longer lang ang imo ang lakan so for example sa sa Manila daghan man dito ang mga tools no siguro going to Baguio i, I experience ka nang magatog katong naka not Baguio but going to Tagaytay dito nga Nyagi ni o kung ano sa Batangas na ito already ha Then going up Itong na ay Okay, ang Batangas napiktuhan mo na itong Pag kung ano sa Taal kay Ang Tagaytay mga kay You will be able to view the Taal Taal Lake So Ang 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 kung ano is Private owned na siya kung 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 ano siya kanyang Ibajita siya sa Wait, mapahit it mo. Pero kung naman kay option, napoy dalan nga uh, intended for for long commuters. No? Long long commuters. Or commuters nga uh, choice nila is to drive uh, longer. Okay, so here also, so sometimes no, ka mga activities ka nang sa <laughs> Increased traffic has adverse impacts on public activities, of course. The more traffic because there are congestions. Uh, one of the causes of congestions are people activities. People activities, for example, going to markets, agora, terminals. So some of the traffic there is inhibited than in Bolua, market, Carmen. So where people are having their interactions, communities are working, games, na ay mga parades or especially fiesta so traffic are common expected and uh, considered no it's it's uh, it's a normal situation na you will be able to experience if there are activities present no muna gitaw gina loss of public space uh, the the purpose of having this uh, traffic flow they are converted into to another purpose so that is loss instead of using it to 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 a particular purpose so nawala ya ang impacts of using it so muna siya ang kuan is separate to be replaced by the members okay so we have to go to our last topic just for today we have the loss of public space so in uh, but same same room siya continuation lang siya okay loss of public space is in many cases these activities have shifted to shopping malls while in other cases they have been abandoned altogether traffic flows influence the life and interactions of its residents under usage of street space more traffic impedes social interactions and street activities people tend to walk and cycle less when traffic is high so this is really normal especially when you are in in the area na, na yung mga activities but like what i said earlier the the shifting of activities no for example shopping malls so na yung mga spaces na to unta okay uh, space man siya people can have their activities instead but these spaces are converted to shopping malls or otherwise it was abandoned meaning it was abandoned and it was it was closed and you are not you don't have any rights to use that one just for any activities so that wala siya kind of conversion of usage instead 
the people who have their activities to be na sa city, they use the the, the space in na sa dala. Then in result to that, people don't like to 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 experience such traffic. Then of course, if traffic kayo, na siguro ang thinking sa tao is if I'm going to stay here for for in this uh, for example if you are a commuter no uh, bus bus cars a jeep if you're going to stay there at six o'clock and you'll be able to to reach your house by 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 10 o'clock after three hours then you'll stay okay so that's condition instead people are no, people decided to walk instead no? ah, I will walk maybe it will take 30 minutes and 20 minutes to rock on so uh, activities no? nga pwede na to nga, nga ma, ma, ma consider while we are uh, we are planning sa certain uh, public transport system so okay so i think if you have questions regarding for our topic for today just feel free to 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 comment uh in you in our youtube and also you can you can also try to to so if you if you like it you just try to subscribe uh, first watch the video before subscribing and before liking it if you like uh, I will not force you to like it but uh, uh, if you like it then you can have this you can you can subscribe my channel so just try to search road to engineer there are Hashtag road to engineer and then copy the second. But uh, this road to engineer is my my account for uh, academic purposes. Uh, it's not intended for any purpose. Kani mo don't copy is a personal thing of mine. So if you want to watch my videos, then it's okay. Thank you for listening. I just hope that uh, you'll be able to give comments regarding to my question uh, regarding to my discussions. And uh, in the next met meeting, rather, we will be able to discuss the remaining topics. So here is we have high infrastructure maintenance cost, environmental impacts, energy consumption, accidents and safety, land footprint, and freight distribution. Okay, so I think that's all for today. Thank you for listening and have a good day.